In this video, I want to go over how the biggest players in the online business industry have a close rate of upwards of 60%, how I got a close rate of around 55% using this exact same principle, um, and I'm also going to show you guys exactly how I did that as somebody who is pretty ass at sales, just being completely transparent, I'm not a good salesperson at all, but I was able to get a really, really high closing rate just using this principle, which I want to show you, um, and then ultimately how you can use this for yourself. I want to make this really actionable um, so that you can get... Uh, higher closing rates on your sales calls but also this will help you get more sales calls overall um, which will ultimately lead to you making more money so i don't want to waste any time i'm not going to bore you guys with any case studies you can watch some other videos for that but um yeah let's just get straight into it so uh as i said if you're questioning my competence i actually got a 55 percent closer using a slightly different variation of this strategy but leveraging the exact same principle that i'm going to show you um and i want to show you um, a strategy that is a lot more scalable and a lot more effective than the one that I use because what I use obviously works. I got a pretty dang high closing rate. However, um, if I would change one thing, this would be the one thing that I'm showing you guys right now and I'm fixing that mistake and you guys will also see how I'm fixing that mistake um, right now. So uh, who's this not for? If you're someone who's looking for a sales training, this is not a sales training. It has absolutely nothing to do with sales. So if you're looking to get better at selling, then um, click off, watch a different video. I recommend Cole Gordon. Um, if you're looking to get better at sales, but if you're looking to get better at sales and you're here, then this isn't the right place for you, just being completely transparent. But you can actually compromise um, being kind of mid at sales if you have this process in place. And who is this for? This is for online coaches trying to increase their close rate, build up a strong online brand and reputation at the exact same time, and copy what the best people in the industry are doing to make a lot of money, right? So, um, by the way, apart from uh, helping you close more, this will help you book way more calls, as, as I said, and also help you get way more qualified calls. So you're not hopping on calls with tire kickers all day, right? So let's start. Um, part one, I'm gonna show you guys what the best people in the industry are doing. Part two will be how I'm doing it. Um, it will be sort of a less effective version of what this is, um, but I still wanna show you guys that just so you guys know that I actually did this, right? And I'm not um, just speaking out of my ass here. So uh, part one, the best in the industry, right? So as I said, I do kind of suck at sales and I'm not qualified to give you sales advice because of it, right? Um, so I'm not going to do that, right? But however, I did research a lot of people in this space doing 100k a month, um, doing a million plus a month and much more that claim to have really high closing rates. And here's what I found. I found that most of these guys, especially the 1 million plus guys, they all have a YouTube channel, right? Um, and this also relates back to the 7 hour rule, right? Which says that to become your warmest lead, a prospect must consume about or more um, than 7 hours of your content, right? And you can't really do that with just short form content. All right, um, you're gonna need some form of long form nurture uh, if you wanna hit that seven hour mark, right? And the good news is that not a lot of people are doing it right now. So you can very easily just come in and sweep the market, right? I think this rule is like grounded in science or something. I'm not sure. This is what everybody is saying. Um, and I know one thing um, that one, it works. And two is that almost every single really successful business person that makes a lot of money online, they have a bunch of valuable content on YouTube, okay? Because the more uh, time a prospect spends with you, the more value they'll get, the more deeper of a connection they'll build to you. Um, and the more value they get and the deeper they can, the connection that they have with you is, the more likely that they're going to buy, right? And this is um, a little bit of a flywheel that I drew that isn't very pretty. But basically, um, your prospect is going to watch a video. They're going to get value if the video is good. That's another thing, right? They're going to start to know you. Uh, they're going to start to like you. And they're going to start to trust you. And then since they've been rewarded for watching your content before, they're going to consume more. And what we want to do is we want to just basically make this loop go on for as long as possible, right? Um, as I said, as fast as possible. I had a time where I uh, literally binge watched somebody's whole freaking YouTube for an entire day. And I ended up in that guy's um, high ticket coaching program. <laughs> so like this shit works, bro. If you can get people to just watch your YouTube videos, you know, without stopping, if you get somebody to binge watch your YouTube, like that is probably the biggest lever you can pull in your marketing, okay? Like forget ad techniques, forget short form content, forget um, cold outbound, especially all that shit, right? If you can get someone to watch your YouTube and you can get someone to binge watch it, that person will buy off of you, okay? It's as simple as that, right? Um, as I said, in the second part of this, I'll show you guys how I got a 55% close rate uh, without any content, okay? So that's a teaser for the mistake I made. It wasn't with content. But I still did it, and it was still the exact same principle, which I'll get into, right? Um, that model's more time-consuming, less scalable, but I made it work. And that's what I want to show with you guys. So, um, if you want to do it with, like, the best in the industry, if you want to do it with content, um, there are three main pillars to this, okay? 
you got to get people into this loop of binging your content. You need valuable content. That's number two. And then three is you need a system to keep people that get into the loop from leaving it. Right. And I'll get into all these um, little pillars right now. So first of all, uh, you need a way of getting people into the loop. OK, how are these going to how are these people going to find your content? OK, um, now, if you're doing short form across all different platforms, which I'm assuming you probably are, um, if not, then wait until the second part of the video. Um, but if you are, then all you have to do is uh, repurpose long form content to shorts and post it. And then like literally just say in the caption or at the end of the video, full video on my YouTube. Right. That's like a good way to go about it. Have a link in your bio pointing to your best and most valuable video, uh, which is something that I have right now. You can pin a post promoting it, which is also something that I have right now. Um, you can create a highlighted story about it, which is also something that I have right now. And um, you can make direct call to actions in relevant shorts. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, I go more in depth on um, my YouTube. This is an example of what you could say, right, as the call to action and just send people to your YouTube that way. Um, but also if your content is SEO optimized, as in if you're doing titles that actually, um, you know, titles and thumbnails that are clickable, titles that are searchable, um, then you can get quite a lot of search en engine traffic if you're also making videos on topics that people are interested in. And if you have a group, like a Facebook group or a Discord group, uh, you can promote the video in there, right? Uh, promote all the videos in there, really, right? Every time you post, you can just make a Facebook group post or a Discord post um, and bring people to your YouTube. Um, and if you want even more lead flow, you can run ads on this, right? These can either be YouTube ads, something like YouTube subscriber ads that uh, can work really well, or they can be Instagram ads, um, something like follower ads to get people onto your profile. And then once they're on your profile, they see your pinned post about YouTube, they see your YouTube link in your bio, and they see um, your highlighted story about YouTube, um, they're gonna end up on your YouTube, okay? And then you also have the setter reaching out to them, sending them over to YouTube, they're gonna end up on your YouTube, okay? So now that we actually have eyeballs on your YouTube, uh, we need valuable content on the YouTube. So how do I convince them that I'm actually good, right? So the content you make, um, it needs to reward the prospect for consuming it. Okay, because otherwise they won't come back. All right, so what we do is we give value. All right, um, but not just any value. We want to structure your content in a way so that when um, the prospect gets on a sales call with you, more often than not, that will mean money in your bank account. Okay, that's the goal, right? So what you want to do, uh, first of all, is you want to talk about your process. Okay, if on the call a prospect asks you, what do you actually do, then you know that you're in trouble. Okay, um, so what we're doing for our clients who don't really you know, want or aren't really focused on YouTube right now um, is uh, we highly recommend them and something that we actually um, help them script. We have presentation that plays for this and everything frameworks. I'm going to upload a YouTube video about a VSL framework soon. Uh, we help them script out a um, long form video sales letter that I just put in their bio. You can build out a whole um, VSL funnel for this. Let me just show you guys really quickly. Um, boom, if you go here, here you have my YouTube and then here you have the free training. Um, it's literally an opt-in and um, behind this opt-in is a long form, um, you know, video sales letter um, that provides a shit ton of value, um, but that also is there to sell and is there to educate the prospect on your process of getting them results. Okay. Uh, I'll go deeper on this um, in um, a different video, but basically you will really want to have one of these long form videos. Okay. And the reason is that um, like buying decisions, especially for like high ticket offers, they're not made in 30 minutes on a sales call. Okay. That person can't learn on your process, learn about your process and they won't buy straight away. Right. People just need time to think about stuff. Right. So if we can make it that they know exactly what your process is, right. Because you literally tell them everything, right. They know exactly what your process is before they ever hop on a call. Right. And this is also going to make more people hop on calls. And it's going to make it so that when they hop on the call, they actually know who you are, what you do, and they're just ready to buy. Okay. Uh, and it's also going to mean that, that they're more qualified and you're not talking with tire kickers all the time. Right. Um, so the way that things are usually structured is you have one main VSL video sales letter, right. Um, and then you have a bunch of micro VSLs. So these are like, you know, this can be a VSL. This is actually my VSL. Um, and then you can have a bunch of micro VSLs, um, that are just tackling different angles, going specific into different client results and, uh, providing even more value. Right. Um, and you know, just tackling different, as I said, sales angles, different objections and that the prospects may have and different pillars of your offer, right? Um, as uh, suggested, the main VSL is the most important, right? Um, this will be your most value packed video and your most in-depth video. Um, and it's probably going to be the most, you know, the first one that they see from you. And we actually want it to be that way, um, which is like the video that you can see pinned in my 
Instagram is my VSL, right? So you want to make that one the most in-depth, right? You want to pin it to your profile. You want to use it as your channel trailer on YouTube. And you want to send it to your prospect after they book a call as homework, right? Uh, and in the DMs, before they ever book a call, you can send them this one video from your YouTube or um, even you can send them the opt-in video, right? You just want to make sure that they watch it before they ever get on the call, right? And something that's very important in this video um, is you want to be breaking beliefs, right? Breaking their current beliefs, breaking your prospects' current beliefs, and then you want to be rebuilding them with new beliefs that align with your beliefs and the beliefs that they need to have to buy your offer, right? And then you want to back it up with a shit ton of social proof too, right? Um, so Cole Gordon, he talks about the seven beliefs a prospect must have before they buy your product. Um, and these are pain, doubt, cost, desire, money, support, and trust. Uh, and I'm not going to go and explain every single one right now. I'll, I'll make a separate video on these. But his theory is that if you align all seven beliefs on the sales call, you'll, ha you'll have a 100% close rate, right? So why don't we just align all these beliefs before they ever hop on the call, right? So in all your content, right? You can ask yourself the questions of what are my audience's pains? Um, how can I make them doubt that they can solve the problem themselves? How can I build the most trust? Um, how can I show them that the cost of inaction is greater than the cost of action? Um, and what are their desires? And you can just speak to all these in your content and um, align these before they hop on the call. That's why they're actually going to buy on the call because all these beliefs were aligned before you ever talk to them, right? That's very important, right? Uh, you can just align these in the content and then you'll have a 100% close rate every single time, okay? And doing this would make your job on the call so much easier because the prospect will already believe everything you want them to believe about your product, right? Their beliefs will be aligned with yours, uh, which is the goal. Um, and also you won't have to cram everything into one call. You will have been selling them all throughout your content, which is many hours of content. If somebody hops on a call with me and they've seen these four videos, which I'm recording the fifth right now, and then soon there's gonna be close to 50, 100 or even more videos on this. And if they're all hella valuable and the prospect watches as many of them as possible, then I don't have to do any selling because these videos do the selling for me and they build um, the relationship for me. I, instead of having a thousand one-on-one -on -one conversations, I can get a thousand views on a video, right? And this is literally a one-on-one -on -one conversation that I'm having with you right now, um, but it's one to many because I record this video once and infinite, like, well, infinite, eight um, billion people can watch this video, right? And if you have valuable content that goes over your process, that breaks your prospects' beliefs and aligns them with the ones that they need to have um, in order to uh, buy your product. And once you have uh, a killer VSL scripted following this seven belief framework, um, talking about your process, providing a lot of value and following the framework that I'm going to post in the video that I'm going to record about how to script the VSL, then uh, you can move on to step three, which is how can I create a system to prevent people um, from ever leaving the loop that they are in, okay? So how do I make sure that they keep watching it to get to that seven hour point is the question that we're answering here, right? So the biggest lever that you can pull, just being completely honest, is actually putting out good content because if your prospects get value, especially if their beliefs get shifted, right? If you can give them that sort of brain blast feeling like, oh, wow, I learned something new. They're going to be, keep coming back, right? Because humans are curious creatures. And, um, you know, if you reward them for watching your video once, um, they're going to repeat that same behavior, which is watching another one of your YouTube videos. Um, if your content sucks, then no matter what system I show you now, those people won't come back. So make sure that you dial that in first. Uh, if you build the reputation of clickbaiting, put out one helpful content, uh, you will lose trust, right? And trust is literally the foundation of closing someone. Right, which is why we are doing this in the first place, to build trust, and to build reciprocity, and to build goodwill, right? Let's talk about the actual system, right? So now that a prospect has watched one of your videos and it delivered on its promise, they're gonna naturally want more, right? So all we have to do is tell them where to go to find more, okay? And we do this with a call to action, right? Um, so how do we call to action? I got you covered, right? You wanna make it easy, because people are lazy, right? Um, this should be no more difficult than finding a link Right, like what I could do is I could put up a card as I'm speaking about my other videos. I can put these links in the YouTube description. Whereas if I just say, um, oh, I have like this video somewhere on my Instagram, I go and find it. That's just going to make it difficult. A lot of people just aren't going to do that because they're really lazy. Uh, you want to make it obvious. Right, so first link in the description, an end of screen card um, and tell them you want them to do it. Right. And what benefit they will get from it. Right. So it gives give them a reason to watch. Uh, and then you want to make it relevant. Right. If someone just consumed an entire video from you on weight loss and dieting, they won't go watch a video on the best times to take, okay? Or on the optimal science-based training focused push day routine, right? Um, make something that you will naturally want to watch. Ideally, a natural progression from your first YouTube video, right? So what I could do is I could tell you to watch the video on scripting a VSL, if I had one, but I don't. But I'm still going to tell you to watch it because I'm going to post it soon, right? 
um, or I could at least watch my video on the seven volume leaves, which I'm also going to upload very, very soon. So it has to feel natural, right? Because if every video rewards you by providing value and it points you to a place where you know that you will get rewarded again because you have gotten rewarded before, then you will be sucked into an endless loop of value, right? So basically, I want you to imagine a pinball machine, okay? But the ball is your prospect the bouncing around all the content that you have and not being able to stop, okay? That is the effect that we are going for, okay? Um, I, here's the sentence I was looking for, right? I had times where I consumed seven hours of content from someone in one day, right? Um, and now I'm in his high ticket program because he used this exact same system, okay? Um, and that is the basis of the system. What a bonus, right? Like you can definitely add some bells and whistles to this process if you want, like a private community, if you have one, right? You could CTA people to join um, and they're gonna get sucked in even more. Like at the end of the YouTube video, I could go until you join my free Facebook group to get this Google document for completely free or to get some other resource for completely free. And then you're gonna join and then you're gonna get, um, you know, every time I upload a new video, you're gonna get notified because I'm gonna be telling you in that Facebook group, okay? Um, and that's also gonna help a lot. I could tell you to also DM me um, if you want to copy of this doc, I to start a conversation with you, right? Um, and as soon as you DM me, I have a conversation going on with someone, who has, with someone who has gotten value from me before, who knows who I am, right? I know they want more because they want a free resource from me and uh, they are a qualified prospect for me, right? Because why else would you be watching this video if you're not an online coach who's trying to um, increase the amount of calls that you're getting, right? Um, but that's for another video, right? By the way, DM me doc on Instagram if you want to copy of this document. The link is going to be in the description, right? Um, and after your prospect has gone through all this, they'll most likely book a call by themselves, right? Uh, again, as long as you clearly state that that is what you want them to do. So be very, very clear on that, okay? And if you're worried about something salesy, like nobody will hate you for saying, if you feel like you need help with this, book a call with the link in my description. After getting 10 to 20 minutes of pure life-changing value that others would, that others do literally charge them for, right? Because that's the goal that we're um, trying to achieve, right? We're trying to give away the sauce and we're trying to sell the implementation, okay? Um, and then on the sales call, you close, right? Because they were already sold before they even hopped on. The call is just there to collect payment, okay? Especially if um, the way that they found out about you was very natural, um, as in they didn't watch a VSL ad, but they watched a follower ad, they watched a DM ad, or um, they came through organically. Um, these people are gonna be pre-sold, right? Before they ever hopped on, okay? And that's how the close rate for the system is so high, right? So a summary, right? Your prospect is going to find you, right? Which is going to be either through short form content, through um, YouTube SEO, through Facebook group, or through um, ads that you're running. They inevitably end up on your YouTube, right? Because we're going to position it so that YouTube is everywhere, right? That's the most important place that we're driving traffic to. Um, so it's going to be, as I said, repurposed content, uh, short form content, call to actions, pinned posts, highlighted stories, Facebook group promos, and then the link in your bio. Um, and they're going to fall into the loop because you have very valuable content, right? Um, you get them to go through all of it as fast as possible because you have very valuable content and you make call to actions um, that redirect them to other videos that you have. And then when they're ready, they'll book a call through your book a call call to action that you also have, right? And then you will close because they were already set on buying before ever talking to you one on one because we did all the selling one to many uh, with all the content that we have. Right. All right, cool. So that's the basic meat and bones of this video, what the best in the industry do and how you can implement this for yourself and what I'm doing right now. Um, but I also want to show you guys how I got a 55% close rate without any content whatsoever. Okay. And this may seem counterintuitive based on all, all of what we just went through, right? but let me explain. Okay. So uh, the way I this works, as you can tell from my close rate, but it's very unscalable. It's very time consuming and it's very effort consuming. Okay. Um, and it doesn't compound with time whereas your social media audience does, right? So do the other method, okay? I regret not starting my personal brand faster. Um, but for those of you who are either shit scared to put your face on camera, or um, you just wanna see what exactly I did, um, then this is for you, right? So I use the exact same principle, okay? That's the most important thing to take from this, um, which is the principle of giving value, right? We're building reciprocity, we're building trust, and we're giving a shit ton of value first, okay? Before ever asking for the sale. The difference is, that what I did was I did it one to one instead of doing one to many, okay, which is why it's unscalable, right? So we're still going to build a reciprocation. We're still going to get people to know us, like us, and trust us before they ever buy. But the difference is that we're going to give value in private, right? So DMs, um, calls, or free work, right? So when you're interacting with a prospect, your first um, instinct, right, the first thing that you think of when you're talking to them, should be to give, okay? 
So back when I was probably doing short form content, okay, uh, what I did was I offered a free edit to prove I was good. After um, the people accepted the free edit, because why wouldn't they? Because it's a free edit, and I'm not pitching them anything. Um, then I was like, okay, cool. Do you want seven more free edits? Okay, do you want a week's free of one short a day? Okay, do you want a free trial? And then, like, everybody who saw the short and they liked it because my shorts are good, were good, because I don't sell mainly short for content anymore. But, anyways, um, because my shorts are good, then um, these people said, yeah, cool, I want a week's free of editing, right? And then uh, they hop on the trial, right? And on the trial, I'd give away as much other free value that I had as I could, okay? Um, so I'd give away, like, how uh, we were on our ads. Um, people would, like, you know, thank me for this client I was on um, the short. Um, we do like different content calendars, to-do lists and shit. Uh, we just give as much value as possible. We had like a bonus ebook, which was pretty shitty looking back at it. But you know, it's still a really nice touch. Just getting on a trial, someone's like, hey, I should have this free ebook. It's very actionable. Um, you can go through it, it should help you a lot. Um, and then people go through it and they like it, right? It also builds that reciprocation, which is what we're going for. Um, and then like after the free trial, actually we've gotten so much value after you've literally gotten a week's worth of editing, someone spent so much time editing those videos for you for completely free, it's unreasonable for you not to buy, okay? Like, we literally had one of our trial clients ask us, um, like, is there any way that I can pay you guys? Do you guys even accept money? And that's literally what he said, okay? And that's the goal that you want to have, right? Because then the prospects are selling themselves and you're not selling them anymore, right? Um, so as I said, this, this works extremely well. You can see how effort and time-consuming it is. To just give away so much value every single time you have anybody and um, but the good news is that what you can do is you can automate all this with content okay um and then you really never have to do this again right um which is why i recommend focusing on the first option right for all the reasons that i stated above so this is basically interacting in private right so your prospect messages you or you message them um you show that you care right you, you can qualify them you can ask about their struggles in the dms or goals or whatever um, or you can just give them big fast value like I did and you can just say like, hey, here's a free edit, hey, here's a free week, hey, here's a free this, free that, right? Um, and actually make the thing that you're selling good and a bonus if it's not just a ready resource and it actually costs you time and effort to make, as in like free work, which is what I did, um, that's just going to make this process work so much better, right? Um, and then you want to give them the solution away for completely free, right? You can give an asset, you can give a video training, or you can give free work. They want more, so you're going to give them more, right? For free, you can give them more assets, more trainings, um, or uh, you can uh, get them on a call, but you're not going to pitch them. You can say like, hey, I'm not going to pitch you anything on this. I just want to hop on, on a chat to see if I can help you for free. What sort of value can I provide for you, right? Um, and then after you've worked for free, after you've given away so much free shit, then you can pitch, okay? And then you will close because they were already set on buying before even talking to you, right? That is the goal here. That is the way you increase your close rate. You don't increase your close rate by... I mean, you can increase your close rate by being a better close person, salesperson, right? Um, but the real way you get to really, really high close rate percentages is because you only speak to people who are going to buy anyway, okay? And that's basically how I did it. And that's how I got my SMMA off the ground. I signed like five clients in less than two months. Um, and I got my first sort of experience in the door. Um, and, you know, that's sort of what you're going to have to do, especially if you don't want to put your face up on the camera when you're starting out. You're sort of going to have to humble yourself. If you really want to grow, you're going to have to give away some free work. But once again, like that's going to open up a lot of opportunity for you, right? Because you're going to have case studies. You're going to have client results. You're going to have testimonials. You're going to have experience. Um, and, you know, that's really the most valuable thing as a beginner, right? Um, so I, I recommend it. Like if you're willing to grind, then go for it, right? <laughs> so that was part two, um, how I got a 58% close rate with no content whatsoever, right? Um, but now I also want to go into part three. It's going to be really quick, but I just want to show you guys a bit of a bonus, right? Um, which is basically combining both of these tactics. And this works like crazy, okay? Because what you can do is you can give in public, you can give in private, but then you can also sell in private. Then you don't even have to sell in public. So basically imagine that you are a fitness coach, right? You have a brand and you're giving away value in public and people already trust you to a certain degree, okay? We can enhance this with giving in private okay after you reach out to someone or someone reaches out to you you find out what they're struggling with and you just give them the solution okay if someone needs help with dieting give them a meal plan if someone needs help with finding the right exercises give them a workout program if someone needs help with um positioning all their content correctly then send them um this video 
if someone needs help with um, booking calls, then send them this video, right? Um, and we, we can give in private now as well as giving in public, right? Which is going to just enhance everything that we're doing because it's going to seem way more personalized, right? And if it's good and people can actually get some results from it, they're going to be asking you for more, okay? Um, and they will 100% come across another roadblock on their journey. Even if you tell someone exactly how to um, script out a buying your YouTube VSL video, right? A buying your VSL. Um, these people are still going to encounter some form of roadblock and they're still going to be scared that they're not going to do it perfectly because people are perfectionists by nature and they're still going to come to you for the solution. Okay, that's why we sell the secrets. Uh, that's why we give away the secrets, but we sell the implementation, right? So you can have the YouTube system in place, converting people on complete autopilot, and then you can have the private one-on-one -on -one system to just push some people over the edge, right? Because some people will need that extra push and that extra attention, right? Um, so this is like basically a combination of the part one and part two, right? The prospect is going to find you. They end up on your YouTube. You will close, right? But at every one of these steps, you interact in private. They find you. They follow you on Instagram. You can send them a DM. They end up on your YouTube. Um, your YouTube has call to actions to DM you on Instagram for free assets. So you interact in private. They fall into the loop. They You keep interacting in private. You get them through all your content as fast as possible. You're still interacting in private. Um, when they're ready, they'll book a call. Then you definitely interact with private when they book a call. And then you'll close, right? And then you have this going for you. And then you also have this going for you, right? Um, and you basically win, right? So um, this is the little sort of thing that I came up with for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, it's like, like, as I said, literally impossible to leave this funnel. Like this is just a very small part of the overall funnel that we use. I'm not sure if I've opened it. Right? There it is. Um, this is what we use. And this is just a very small part of it. This is literally pretty much covering YouTube. Um, right, and I could make several more videos about YouTube. Um, but this falls into this sort of little framework that I have. If you're interested in this, go and check out some of my other videos. Um, I cover it way more in depth there. Um, but basically, it is impossible to leave this funnel. Okay, and it is so much better than just posting reels and hoping for someone to fill out your application. All right. So, um, to end this video off, I just want to give you guys some action steps that you can uh, go ahead and do to start. Um, you know, actually, um implementing what you've just learned um so number one is you want to start putting out valuable content okay like youtube you just record your first long form vsl um there are a lot of frameworks online I'll also post my own framework that we're using very very soon um and you can just upload that then anyone who inter who interacts with you in terms of a follow in terms of an engager in terms of anyone who's interested in what you do you can interact in private and you can send them that video for completely free right giving away more free value um and then you can wait for your prospects that are handing you money and then you can collect it when it comes okay because so once you put out really valuable content um and then you give them a really valuable asset or a training or work or a meal plan or whatever the hell you do um, for free in your dms um then your prospects will come back to you and they will want to buy okay and all you have to do is uh, accept the money right so uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you got value from it. Still getting better and better at, at this YouTube thing. I hope this video was really cohesive, really actionable. And that you guys learned something new from it. Um, if you did, then drop me a sub. I think I'm rocking like one subscriber right now. So uh, it's not cool. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop. I'm going to keep going to YouTube. Because um, I know that in two years, this is going to get somewhere. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. Um, if you want uh, some more details on like the actual full funnel that we're using, um, then I recommend checking out this video. Um, it's really, really in depth on the overall process and overall like ways of thinking that we use when implementing this for our clients. Um, it also goes over some client results because we're actually using this right now. Um, and yeah, uh, check out that video. Um, I'm not going to tell you to book a call because you don't know what my process is and I don't want you booking calls, um, not knowing what my process is. So go check out that video first. Um, and then after you do that, you can book a call and uh, we'll chat. Um, if not, just keep going through the YouTube content, getting nurtured, and I'll see you guys in uh, the next video.